Good morning, everyone. Hi. Dave and Julia here in Castleton, New York, near Albany. We are in our sanctuary of a home here. Uh, New York is uh, locking down uh, day by day. It seems like it's getting more and more uh, against the coronavirus outbreak. Uh, we feel um, very much at peace uh, in our relationship with the Lord and hope you do too. And we wanted to just uh, share a word or two with you to try to encourage that in all of us. Uh, this morning we had the privilege of watching the service from Emmanuel Reformed Church where uh, Dirk is the pastor uh, and just thoroughly enjoyed being able to be part of that online and hopefully uh, you can be a part of things like that too if you have to stay home. Julia is in a, in a high risk category and so we are uh, being very careful uh, with uh, when we go out and how we go out. And, and how much contact we have with people. Yeah, and when we come in, do yeah. <laughs> you know, what happens. So, yeah. anyway, um, we were reading this morning out of Psalm 32, where uh, the Lord uh, says to us through the psalmist, Let everyone who is godly offer prayer to, to you, God, at a time when you may be found. Surely in the rush of great waters they shall not reach him. And today, of course, is a day of prayer across the nation called by our president. Franklin Graham and others and we are dedicating this day to prayer and uh, listening to the Lord as we walk through this in terms of what he might have to say to all of us and the next verses there say you are a hiding place for me you preserve me from trouble you surround me with shouts of deliverance and um, one of the things that um, during the night as I was I woke up after midnight and looked at the clock and went, oh, hey, it's a day of prayer and was thinking, was praying. And then I started thinking, what positives are there in this? What blessings can God use? And the idea that came to me that as people draw back and are only doing the important things, they have a time and are thinking of maybe eternity more, they have a chance to turn their eyes toward God. So this is a marvelous time to be praying for the people around us. And um, that's one of the reasons this day has been set aside, not just to pray that we don't get sick or that the virus goes away, but that the people around us will turn to Christ in the middle of this. Yes, and, and the psalmist continues. He says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. This is the Lord speaking. Uh, the Lord saying, I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Be not like the horse or a mule without understanding, which must be curbed with bit and bridle, or he will not stay near you. Many are the sorrows of the wicked, but steadfast love surrounds the one who trusts in the Lord. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, O righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. That is our privilege today. Uh, that is what we are doing. We hope you are doing that as we uh, approach the Lord in prayer today about whatever our concerns are. Uh, we want to uh, remember that his steadfast love surrounds us, uh, that we are in his care. He is our provider. Uh, even if we run out of toilet paper, he is our <laughs> provider. And uh, we will continue to, to love and serve him with all our heart. Uh, so uh, goodbye for now. And hope you all are... Wait. Oh, wait. One more yes. word. Okay. The last word. <laughs> we we uh, picked this place right here to make this tape. But as I'm looking at the picture, looking at the wall behind me, I see several things. Number one, this picture right here. Um, it's a picture of uh, children waiting for the school bus and it's raining and they all have their umbrellas up except this one little boy here he has his umbrella down he has his hood down his face up facing the rain and the caption the name of the picture is smile at the rain and god led me to this picture the day he healed me in 05 march of 05 when we were in seattle and so that picture reminds me 
to smile at the rain. No matter what comes into our lives, God is there and he can bring us joy. And the next thing is this right there. Um, at the time when my health was bad in Oregon and um, I was getting really desperate for, for answers, um, Dave and I went to the ocean and he found this seashell. It's in the shape of a butterfly. And I framed it and put it in a thing because to me it said hope. God is the God of hope. He's always there bringing us hope. So I thought this was a very appropriate place to make this video for you. So my last word. We love you guys. And I see it's a quarter of 12, Julia. I think I think we need to start thinking about a little lunch too, don't oh, you? Oh, sounds good. You know what? Always thinking Do about you know what food. happened yesterday? Our postman came to our house with the woman who lived upstairs in our apartment upstairs when we first moved in and they brought us soup they don't go to our church we don't we don't meet with them at all regularly except he delivers our mail as a as a love gift for us and they brought cream of asparagus soup which is my favorite isn't that amazing and there was some left over and so lunchtime is calling yeah <laughs> we well, love what, you guys we Thanks. love you uh we are breathing by grace here in castleton uh, living proof uh, that you can live on the gifts that god gives yes and be happy yes we hope you are too bye-bye <laughs>